Reddington Dooley, 12 foot six. Seven weight, 12 foot six, okay? Reddington Dooley. I had a comment on one of my videos where a guy asked a question. I said, what rod do you have? And he goes, oh, I just went with the Dooley because they're inexpensive. They're 250 bucks. This is a Reddington Dooley. And this thing is super sweet. I, I don't think you need any more rod than this. And I hate for anybody to think that they just went with the Reddington Dooley because 250 bucks is a lot of money in the real world, right? And this thing is butter. It casts so nice. Say you get on, invited on a guided trip and you only have a dually, but you can cast better than some guy who never practices and he has a, like a really expensive rod and he can't cast it, you'll get mad respect. But the thing is, you're not handicapped because this is a very nice rod. Perfect, 400 grain, real Skagit Max. So it's lined a little bit light. So with the floating tip, we have a, I think it's a, it's like a mo tip, a medium mo tip, floating, 10 foot floating. And then we also got a poly leader on it, which, cause I didn't have a regular leader. But the thing about this outfit is you can do touch and go casts and you can do waterborne casts. This would be this setup with a 400 grain scat head and a floating tip would be perfect for summer steelhead on the Deschutes. You could fish it all day long. And then when it got bright and light outside and the fish hunker in a little bit, you could put a 10 foot of T11 on or T8 and be swinging during the heat and the, the brightness of the day. So you could, you could fish, water temperatures get cold, put a sink tip and you're golden. 400 grains and 10 foot of T11 and you can, you can do touch and go casts, not just gadget casts. So if you, you know, if you want, you can. Okay, so the thing about this, see it's a Skagit head and with a medium mo tip or whatever this is, you can do Scandi casts all day long with it and put a sink tip, tip on if you need and do gadget casts. Hey guys, my friend who owns this rod had a balloon on there for the fly. So there's that. But other than that, this thing casts really sweet. Also, I had a floating poly leader on there. I would have just used straight level mono, but I left my mono back in the car. So we threw that on and it worked out okay, but I don't necessarily recommend them. Or not, whatever you want. Okay, 
Is that showing up again? Okay, uh, so it's a Skagit rod, it's a Scandi rod. If you line them right, they're an everything rod. It's 250 bucks. You should never be ashamed if you have a rod this nice. Never. Act is I'm just gonna keep casting it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet buddy, it's, yeah. you should be proud of that rod. Okay, shout out to my friends at Finn and Firefly Shop. They've set these guys up with these really nice bay outfits that are quality and easy to cast. They get them all lined up right, and that's a great fly shop. If you want to get into the spay game. And you're in Central Oregon. Go to Finn and Fire in Redmond. Super laid back place. There's no creepy but there's no creepy vibe in there. The guys are all real nice. The guys and gals, super nice people, super laid back, no pressure. But they'll bend over backwards to help you. So shout out to them. Support your local fly shop. to be a tw seven foot 12 hold on a second underhand not upside down Ooh. 